Hello everybody, Spencer at Langston's Alternative Power. Just thought I'd do a follow-up on my uh, generator, my remote start system I'm building for my off-grid cabin here. We uh, don't use this generator a lot, but whenever I need it, I wanted to be able to crank it in case I wasn't here and the batteries were getting a little low or whatever. So what I did on my last video, I showed you how I was cranking it. <clears throat> So basically what I did was I took two smart plugs and two 120 volt to 12 volt DC transformers and ran them to two relays, just some uh, automotive relays I mounted up in here. And all they're doing is simulating this switch, which starts it, one of them does, and the other one simulates the off switch. Basically, all the relay does is connect the two wires together just as you were mashing the start button or switching it to off. And those are controlled by the smart plugs. And the smart plugs are controlled by the app, of course. But in case you didn't see the last video, this is just an automatic choke. So whenever the starter's engaged, it'll uh, pull the choke for until the starter, until your starter stops spinning. And uh, I'll show you a little demo of how it works. I'll get it pulled up on this app here. Not sure if you can see it good or not. Maybe you can. Okay. So I got this one labeled as generator start. Now we'll hit this button and after it cranks I'll cut it back off because it doesn't need to stay engaged. And I'll do the same for the off button. And of course it's flooded a little bit because I've been cranking it. Alright. That's got that going now. If I want to cut it off, I just mash the off. You can leave the off one on. It just keeps it grounded. But I... I cut it off because it didn't need to be on but that's pretty much all there is to it other than putting this you can use any smart plug it doesn't have to be these particular ones these are tc link um and they work really good i've got them on a bunch of different things inside the cabin or i'm going to have more i got one hooked to my hot water heater i borrowed the one that i had on my lights out on the porch to use for the off button on here I'll get some more, but they work really good. They had some at uh, Home Depot. You get two of them for like 20 bucks. So you figure 20 bucks for two of those, and those were just some transformers. I took one off a Roku box. The other one come off of uh, some kind of phone. It's just as long as it's got at least a half an amp at 12 volts, it'll activate those relays. Uh, they're just some, actually they're Ford relays out of a, pickup truck that I had left over and I uh, use those just to use those for the on and off switches and the others in case you didn't see the other video this is just a you can get these off of Amazon you get two of them for like 25 bucks I think ship your window door actuators lock actuators uh, and I, you can see on the other video where I made the rod and all to hook it up it's pretty simple but it works really good now I can, uh, if I'm away from the, away from home or wherever, I want to crank it up. I can, uh, the bit batteries get a little low or whatever. I can, well, I can show you on another app what, uh, what it'll do. Let's see if I can get it pulled up on here. I don't know if I got it on this phone or not. Uh, it's a classic app. I don't think I do. So... That'll take me a minute. Let me get it on this other phone and I'll show you how that works. 